Let's go to the other side. Let's talk about Alan Lazard a little bit. Been pretty solid week in, week out with Rodgers here. Um, is there any interest in, is there buy, sell, hold on Alan Lazard here? Is there, you know, if you're a... a I think a sell or hold for me. I mean, you got, he started, I literally put in one league in uh, one of our Patreon leagues, I put a couple of wide receivers on my bench up for sale because I was trying to create a roster spot and I had somebody offer me uh, a late two for Lazard and I couldn't trade him because I got a championship team and a proven championship team like one two out of the last three years and I'm a, a one of the top three favorites to do it again so I couldn't give away a quality quality bench starter for and the only reason he's on the bench is because I'm just I just got lucky and my team is stacked and if I wasn't lucky and my team was stacked, he'd be in my start lineup. He started off with a bum ankle, but now he's in there getting good targets and good. He's getting quality red zone targets. Yeah, you know. Um, and to you're you're not going to get you're probably not going to get out of any team ever their high performance, high octane offense in London. But Aaron Rodgers was just saying, "Hey, we hadn't put a whole game together. We got to play better than just a quarter or two at a time. We've been too conservative. Let's do this. Let's do that." Then they go to London, you know. So. We haven't seen anywhere near top end Packers offense. We haven't seen the offense get in the groove and Alan Lazard be healthy this year at the same time, you know. So I, I feel like there's better to come out of Lazard, but there's obviously still lots of rumor for growth for Dubs as well. Lazard's just his first year as a, you know, the one. Um, I could sell him. I didn't want to sell him for a late two on a championship team. Yeah. If I had him. I think know, that's kind of the predicament right now is that like he's gone. He went 9.3, and a half, 17, six and 13 and a half. And these so in those last three games, games are solid. I'll put him in any right. lineup. Even, you know, even the nine, three didn't first game you. back didn't, didn't kill, kill you. you. Didn't yeah. kill you. It's fine. Yeah. Um, you know, but is the two enough to, to get him off your team? If it would have been an early two, I could have worked with that. Yeah. But it was definitely from a real, like, the other one of the other top three teams I'm battling against. It, you know, it's one of those things, I mean, you talked about it the other day, um, just randomly talking about fantasy football. If you got a really good team and it's been good for a while, right now it's kind of boring. You're just waiting on the playoffs. Right. You're just trying, you know, you're just trying to stay healthy as you can and, and, and wait for the playoffs to get here and hope you get lucky first week if it's not some kind of funky score. And, you know, you just don't right. want to be the best team in the league. And it's always week 15. Now it might be week 16 with the long, you know, or week 14 with the season. However, you're, you know, you don't want to be that team that's the best and then have a dud week first week of just playoffs and get booted. But so that's my team. Like, I'm, do I want to do, do I want to sell Lazard? I sell him for the early two, but I can't sell that quality depth for the late two. Yeah. And I, I don't know that anybody's necessarily dying to, to unload him for anybody that's maybe a little better brand of a player, but struggling a little bit right now. Well, the now. name cachet of Lazard doesn't give it to you, but you just said, I mean, the points it, are good. With a team that's Like, that's not, why I'm almost in buy mode a little bit. If I feel like I got a good team and I need a flex, a good, like, I just need that one other player to flex. Like, if you can go get Alan Lazard for a late two, or if, you, if you're not sure what's going on with your team, if you, like, say a three this year and a three next year, and you can put Lazard on your team all day long. Yeah. You know? Or if you're in the sell mode, you can say, hey, here's Lazard, here's player X that's worth less than Lazard, or here's Lazard and a projected late two or add something to it to trade up for the one. Right. Because I did try to, the, the dude that offered me the late two, I tried to get hit. It was not his two. So therefore, he and he wasn't a great team. He was like, I can't give you my first. And I even went after the 2024 first to make it less valuable. It's like, just give me something that starts with a one. And he's like, I can't, you know, and it's like, all right, well, what do I need now? Do I got to go back to the drawing board and say, hey, what do I need to add to Alan Lazard to get to that first? Yeah, right. Well, then that's probably the better. If you want to sell him, that's probably the better scenario of trying to figure out how to do that. So that's always a good a good way to go about things. Would you would you sell Lazard straight up for Juju or are you holding on to Lazard? Because I'm probably holding on to Lazard. Juju hadn't gotten the targets I thought he was going to get. Right. Lazard's averaging 13.8 points per game. Juju's at 9.9. Less than that, and, yeah. And not having a great game tonight. Yeah, Juju's kind of draining so me right far. now. Um, let's see. And it's not like there's a ton of say, So Ayuk, Ayuk's a guy that we all like. What? What's your what, – if you could pivot from, let's say, Ayuk to Lazard on, on a team that you maybe wanted a little bit more scoring week in, week out. Um, 
I think I, there's no way y'all boys would trade Ayuk for Lazard. Yeah, I would tra- I would give you Lazard for Ayuk. Right. And put him I would on. go the other way. Yeah. I'd trade you Lazard for Ayuk in a heartbeat and just be like, all right, I don't know if I can start him right now, but he's still super young and I know he's good. I know it's in there somewhere, and he's just on a Debo led offense right now. Right. With a with a quarterback who's coming you know, off an injury and no off season and still Jimmy G. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I he that, does just win. But. I, right. Well, that's the thing. It's like you, you'd like to be upset with with Jimmy because he maybe doesn't get Ayuk as involved. Like, isn't going to prop up enough receivers to get Ayuk to the point where you think Ayuk could be. And I don't but, see how it gets any better for the 49ers because right. you've you're still so invested. If Lance can come back, he's going to get another shot. And because you've invested so much in Lance, obviously not necessarily money wise because he was you know draft the draft picks you gave up i don't know how you go get a better quarterback yeah unless right. you're just like you know what screw it the, the cap is fake anyway we're going to just go buy somebody <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah and figure out the numbers later so uh you know aj Dillon, just a guy that's bumming you out right now a little bit just been kind of going down and down and down a little bit oh that first game was uh, also it looked so promising nothing so so a little little bum there but but aaron jones looking really strong Real quick, we got a question about A.J. Dillon. I got a few in the queue here, but and if you guys ask me a question, I'm queuing them up and going to find a spot to insert it into, but you just brought up A.J. Dillon. So would you give up uh, A.J. Dillon and a late 23 first for Kenneth Walker? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you could, that, that That's quest- right. It's, it's way too much. It's way too much, and, and, and it's, it's, not, it's piss poor timing for me because I'm just um, – I've been – I'm so sad right now with the Kenneth Walker thing because I was just I was hoping we'd get another week or two where it was muddy and Kenny Walker didn't really do much and it was like all right we're enough into the season where somebody who paid for him getting is impatient. getting antsy and wants yep. to get rid of him and instead the motherfucker opposite breaks happened. his <laughs> it's the exact opposite I wanted to he have breaks happen. one and then the starter gets hurt. Uh, what if it was a late second instead of an early one? All, all I mean an early an early two. Instead of a I'll late sell one. you to an AJ Dillon for Kenneth Walker. I, I just there's it's we're guys in two different scenarios. One guy I think is about to take a stranglehold and just be used like crazy and is the better player than Penny is at this point in Penny's career. And I just like eight carries and broke one off on that backside run where he cut it back on and it's got some speed to him. All of a sudden it's weird because they're throwing at the ball and he can actually catch. I don't know how that happened because he didn't check target share thresholds in college. So there's no, I didn't, I didn't know that he could actually physically catch balls, but he can. So I would, I, mean, I would give you a late person, AJ Dillon for Kenneth Walker. Right. Now. I, I, w- I would probably too. I, I answered it so fast that I wanted to safeguard myself. Well, that's because I started just, laughing because it really could have been, would you give any, I like the, the, it could have been like a flat line fill in the blank. Would you give this for Kenneth Walker? And if you ask that question to Casey, it's going to be almost a yes for pretty much anything you put in that box. Oh, I love, um, I love. So, Kenny. so, uh, we got another question. So yes, Jones, I would give Josiah, I'd give a late first and AJ Dillon for is Kenneth Walker so high in dynasty. Absolutely not, right? I mean, if you, if that's how you like to play it, I mean that's probably the best you question. Probably to ask paid a mu- you, you paid for him right now because that's draft, a little, little bit more your style of play. You paid for him though, so it's like you're finally getting what you're about to see. If you get what you paid for, maybe you'd be cashing out at like. The well, same level of what you paid, maybe, thing, right? If you're getting more than just a first. It or, all depends on what the offer is. Right. If you say, hey, I sell high. Like you, I, I, I see mm-hmm. what Jay Wayne is saying. What is, What are you getting that you didn't just give up anyway? And you just got a guy that ripped off a 70-yard you know, touchdown run, and the guy that was sharing, the guy that was leading the backfield slash sharing the backfield just got hurt for the year, and he ain't coming back. Mm-mm. And the team's playing a lot better offensively than you would have ever imagined. Right. So that anybody would have ever imagined. So what about the game script? You got to get some. Yeah, exactly. It's supposed <laughs> to be negative game yeah. script every single game, and it's not. So you, <laughs> that was not good, Clyde. Edwards you got to get. Sorry. You you got to if you're selling high. What is your high? Right. Right. You know. Is it is it is it? Is Kenny, it Kenny Walker went at one five, and you can get Drake London. Right. You probably can't get Drake London, but maybe. I could definitely see somebody giving you Drake London for Kenny Walker right now. Would you do that? Most people are going to, most dynasty enthusiasts that are going to be experts are going to say no because you're going to choose the longevity of the wide receiver over what Kenneth Walker's going to give you. But you could probably get more for Drake London than Kenneth Walker. For sure. In, you know? In about but, two or three weeks, you might not be able in to. In about two or, three weeks, two or three weeks, you might. It's a running True. back, and there's not many out there to you even want on your team it, right it now. It looked pretty easy for him to outrun everybody. Potentially get, and mm-hmm. 
you know, so like it's, I, ETN or Kenny three sticks straight up. Just Jimmy Kenny. Kenny. They're not even close right now. And the the use of, like James Robinson for some reason is still awesome at football, even though his yeah. leg I mean, his Achilles we'll, blew off. We'll get to that in just a second. All right. All right. So yeah, I mean Kenny. But he's asking questions and I was just trying yeah. to Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a that's a Kenneth Walker. You got questions, we got answers. <laughs> Might not be right, but I got That's why you got to join these live shows uh, Monday night. Get your questions answered. I'm going to squeeze them in. Hit that uh, like, subscribe, All right, we're comment gonna... button. All right, so I just really want to get on the other side of Gabe Davis because he's been injured and banged up, and the ankle hasn't been right, and the practice tape from a couple weeks ago, he was clearly injured in this last game. Before this one, he was out there and getting gimpy. targeted, but still gimpy this game. Not gimpy. Not gimpy. And full back, practices, full, too. Right. Full practices the whole week, pretty, Ankle's pretty much. good. Giving you the, the, the go sign to put him in your lineup. Kept him out of the lineup the last few weeks, if you could. Um, I hope you, Hopefully you could. You could find somebody else. Um, and he went back in the lineup and obviously blows it up. Thoughts on, it. thoughts on Gabe uh, moving forward. Is this, a, is this a sell window or is this just like, I'm so excited to have Gabe Davis on my team? You got to pay up if you're trying to get Gabe from me, buddy. Because I don't think anybody... Uh, some yeah. guys, I think they would really care that it was just three catches for however many yards he had and two touchdowns. But some guys, people don't care that that was the case. And I don't think Gabe... I think Gabe's one of those where people don't care that that's the case. They are it, expecting it. They got it. It's the Bills and it's Josh Allen. It's, it's right. The, you know, it's, they, they got digs and... Obviously, they had some other wide receivers that were out. Right. No McKenzie, no Dawson Knox, no Crowder. No Crowder. Yeah, so they were thin up. Shakur comes out there, ball and two. Gabe is a big play guy. I mean, obviously, Diggs is the big play guy, but that's Josh Allen is so good, there's multiple big play guys. Not right. a lot of teams get multiple big play guys. The Bills have a couple because their quarterback can do it. Um, you Man, you know, throws for four TDs and 350 yards or – 450 yards in the first half right um that's 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 the situation the volume the the ceiling of the offense is a ceiling that we've really never seen before that's all it is for me i mean obviously gabe davis is not the best wide receiver in the league but he's still only he's 23 years old he's 6 2 210 or whatever and he's bigger than that is he's out there doing work he's 6 3 so well there's a Gabe Davis on the screen right there. It says six two two ten. I can literally mm, see it. Okay. So um, <laughs> that's what sleeper says. Yeah. So whether those measurements are right, but I literally can see him. <laughs> good call. So uh, you know he's just out there. Overruled. Uh, good it, call. Yeah. Devastating yeah. <laughs> my case. Devastating. Um, I, I'm. I'm. To me, it takes. There's players that you like. You know, you just ran through the Lazard game log, and we were like, yeah, man, I'd plug him into flex any day of the week. You look at Gabe Davis's game log in the week one before he got hurt and the week when he's not hurt and the weeks in between are not great and hopefully he's not starting, but those ceiling games are what helps you win. So you don't so basically the week one game, he had some targets but caught this touchdown on that nice play design and scored yep. and then had a big game where I don't this week, the first one, I don't even know what the fuck they were doing. I I think they could have thrown it to Diggs or Davis. And on the second one, Davis makes a Davis makes a play like that's what you. Circus that, that's the ceiling that you're talking about from Davis. So it doesn't uh, concern you at all that maybe those big game log game games box scores or maybe some fugazis that'll be up up and down. Or you, it's not the it's not that it's a fugazi because the points are there. It's just and because again because with with Josh Allen the thing is with with Gabe Davis is yeah there might be uh two for 40 you know he caught that 30 yard pass it wasn't a touchdown there might be a two for 40 and a six versus like somebody who in the lazard yeah maybe they don't hit their upper echelon swing of the offense that 14 point flex option there's like man i got i got 14 points on my flex i'll take the guy that could get me six or 30 yeah because that six is that eight less than 14 to get to six but you just doubled the 14 to go to 28 and i'll take that because he's going to average Right, seventeen instead of fourteen. What you're, what's a bummer is that we did have some injury game throughout there, so we haven't got to see if we can just if we can have if we can maybe see that there is like just an okay floor, but and, and instead of him being the flex play, be the wide receiver two play uh, for you. Right, it's, we got 
We got Big T's talking about how, you know, you might regret not selling him long long TDs on two of his three catches. He'll have more duds than good weeks by far selling for someone more consistent. Like, you got to you gotta acknowledge that he was hurt. You know, he, he was dealing right. with an injury, and so you would he, think that a healthy that's what I'm number saying. two in this offense is going to be a consistent producer. Right. You, we haven't yeah. quite got the luxury to see that for this many hasn't games because it has been. We haven't seen it. He's so young, though. He's like, like, he had that four-touchdown breakout game in the playoffs. I could go either Hyped way on this the year. Cell. I could Hype be. paid off week one, got hurt, a little bit of a bummer, a little bit of a bummer, buy, buy windows right there, and then comes back with a blow-up game on three catches. C.D. Lamb had a couple games where he didn't want to yeah. get in your lineup. I mean, yeah, that, for sure. It's the, the game that we play, the reason it's so fun is because there's there's a very little – there's not. There's only one Cooper Cup. There's only one person. There's only one Antonio Brown when he was. You know. There's only one guy here and there that are always going to crush every single week, and right. So it's not going to happen. And if it could be, if it could be eight to tens for for Davis on the off weeks, and everyone's going to have the six or the four here and there. Every so every good it. player. But if it could be more like eight or ten on the on the bat on the downs, mm-hmm. that's you know just so that I know that I can get, you know. Four for sixty, and some some weeks and been and you know, three for seventy or uh, even even just like you know, three for fifty. Just know that that's yeah. kind of his floor. Yeah. Um. Then then I'd feel a little more comfortable. And it seems like it, I don't really know that. So I, I could be either way. I'm mostly leaning towards keeping Gabe Davis, mostly because of all the things that you said previous to that. Would you we were, we would you sell Gabe Davis for da- uh, Damian Pierce right now? I think you got to. I think I would. Actually, I know I would. So he been yeah, trying I'm, to get us to do it for weeks. That's a that's a that's a good coin flip. I got that. It would have to be somebody like that. I mean, like sell for Gabe Davis. I'm not going to take your, you know, your four quarters for my dollar. Right. And you have to give me another dollar. I got to give, give you another dollar after Damian Pierce. No, no, no. But He's I'm saying, saying like oh, Damian oh, Pierce. I don't want four quarters. I don't want your Alan Lazard and your and your two third round picks. You know, don't come up. Don't give me. Don't offer me Alan Lazard and two thirds for Gabe Davis. Right, it's a quick rejection. You know, I don't offer me a second and third and Lazard, you but, know. But like, Damian Pierce is like a dollar to Gabe's yeah, dollar. Yeah, you got to give me somebody who like right now you could get a first round pick for Gabe Davis. You get a you get a first round pick for um, Damian Pierce. You know, you got to bring. Can you get a first round pick now for Dave da- or for Damian Pierce? Can you I, not? I would assume so that you could, de- and then I think you could get. You could get a first round pick for can can you get a first round pick for Gabe Davis would probably be more my question. I did it seems see like it happen. It was, There's one. It's on kind of been all over, but no, I I I feel you. I feel you on that one. Um, a two and a three for Gabe Davis is not enough. No. Would way. you would you swap Gabe Dave out, Davis out for Chris Olave? Yeah. You said Garrett Wilson earlier, so I'll just bring him up because he's he's been Gabe Davis or Chris Olave. Or, or, Garrett Wilson. or Garrett Wilson. I'll give you. I'll give you Gabe Davis for a lobby, and I'll give you Gabe Davis for Garrett Wilson. Not worried about the volatility of the Jets moving forward. Yes, right. For, you absolutely. are worried about that. Why wouldn't you? Be? Right. right. Who, who's not? <laughs> but you're. But you're still fine with yeah. giving up a pure Gabe talent to just get Garrett. Yeah. Yeah. And the 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 hype the the. the the overall love of those like, other rookies not th- is probably going to be greater than the Gabe Davis love. You, Gabe Davis without Josh Allen is what? Garrett Wilson with whomever. Garrett Wilson with Joe Flacco has, has already showed us that. Ball win. Chris Olave. Hey, is Flacco's doing, elite, though. Chris, Chris Olave's already done work with Red Rifle and Jameis Wilson, Wilson with a, Winston with a broken back. You know? Gabe Davis probably closer to like a like a MVS with, without – Maybe not that low. No, I'm just uh, maybe a rich, um, like a a you know. very rich man's MVS, yeah. maybe. But you know, because I mean, Gabe maybe Davis he's just going to be a rich. Nothing. Man's I mean, MVS. Let's relax. MVS was, was, relaxed with MVS the MVS was <laughs> comparison. Yeah, yeah. Goddamn. MVS was <laughs> put Gabe Davis thinner and faster. Value and Gabe, down. Gabe Davis is more, you yeah. know, yeah, of a like a, a you know, he's What's, just he's got a heavier set. He's not MVS. He's so Romeo. And Jahan Dotson, either one of those guys for for Gabe, because I feel like those were back end of first guys, and both were probably actually second round guys in most rookie drafts. Those are good offers. I mean, that's one you know. Hey, I, I can could, maybe stay with Gabe there. I can see any for of that. Josh Allen. Gabe Romeo, du- Romeo looks so 
he got that 87. He looks good. 87 is a good number. He gets he, behind defense. Great number for him. If he, he was tied to Rodgers for longer, I'd say six, auto, two, auto, right? auto pickup. He's six two. He looks six three and a half. He looks big. Yeah, he looks big. Yeah. Romeo looks big. He's left some points out on the table too. And Dotson, yeah. Dotson is not look big, but he is obviously a playmaker. Mm-hmm. You, you're not, you're not four touchdowns in and you're in three games of your rookie season and not be a beast, right? Like, it's just I the situation. The situation Too over many there touchdowns. Is, it can't. It's, it's only where only place to go is down. 